Well, I've lost, well, I haven't lost two people, but I've had two people very close to me. One passed from cancer, my uncle, who, ironically enough, today would have been his birthday, and uh, he passed away on my birthday uh, a few years before my wife was diagnosed with breast cancer. I was actually at work at the Family Justice Center, my current assignment of the day, um, and she kind of did that thing where she held a phone up to another phone because she was getting the phone call regarding her diagnosis, and I was hearing through my phone what she was hearing on speakerphone, so I heard in real time when she was told that, yes, you have cancer. And she immediately just, I could just hear the fear in her voice. She was so scared and I couldn't get home to her fast enough. She went through a really heavy, heavy dose of chemotherapy and she had an extremely aggressive cancer that required an extremely aggressive treatment. And it was almost, it was 10 months of going into the clinic to get chemo at least once a week sometimes twice. The days would be anywhere from six to 11 hours that we were there. And there, were, there were tougher days, but for the most part, she was relatively strong and able to get through, you know, she stayed at work the whole time. Um, and yeah, I, she was a trooper. What can I say? Ironically, she is in school right now for nursing. So the first time I saw these, I, I did the, uh, the part-time thing at the U of M for the stadium, TCF Bank Stadium at the football games, and the first one of these I saw was on a U of M cap. For me personally, every time I see it, it means something. When you get slapped in the face with something that you have absolutely no control over, all of a sudden you realize that, you know, maybe I should pay attention to the things that are really important, and the importance of just one more hug becomes a pretty amazing thing that, you know, I'm gonna get in one more hug because you might not get another. And I wanna make sure you get that last one in. <laughs>